Hi. And welcome to Danson's Sunday Cooking. I'm Sarah and it's my dad Sunday. Hi. Today we have come for a very, very long drive and we feel like eating something. <laughs> Sai is super excited as you can see. On a beautiful day like this, well, you, you don't get m much of these in, in England. So when, when the sun is bright and shiny, make the best use of it. Now, we, we thought we'll cook outside. Now, normally when you go outside to the countryside, you, call, you don't have McDee's or subways. Or horses. And, or horses, yeah. You can't cook the horse anyway. Uh, so just be a little bit organized, get some stuff. And uh, and we're gonna sh we're gonna cook outside. Yeah! So for cooking out, we need a few pieces of equipment. So we've got a table. That's one of the pieces of equipment. I think my dad's gonna set it up. It's quite easy. One, two, to extend them out. You could set it up easily in less than ten seconds. Yeah, brilliant. Good detecting. Okay. So this is going to be our cooking table. Mm -hmm. The next piece of equipment is a gas stove. Maybe a portable gas stove. Portable gas stove, yeah. So let's go. Mm -hmm. Now this is very easy to set up. Um, it's got a um, place for a canister. And, um, of course you need gas to run a gas stove. <laughs> So the canister will go in here and all you need to do is just leave this lever back in place and there is a knob here to lock it and job done. Now let's switch it on and see whether it works. It How works. Works. There you go. It... Sai, yeah. now I know you don't like mushrooms mm -hmm. but I'm going to teach you a way. Mm -hmm. oh, look at that horse name. <laughs> I'm going to teach you a way yes. that you will just love the mushrooms. Okay. Okay. So today we're going to cook cheesy mushrooms. So obviously we've got mushrooms. Cheese! I love cheese. I know you love cheese. So the ingredients are very simple. We've got an onion, we've got some tomatoes and some garlic. So let's prepare the mushrooms first. Now the stock, you need to just twist it a little bit. And remove the stock. Sai, do you want to do okay. your mushroom? And what you need to do is try and scoop the inside of the mushroom. So you need a cap mushroom or button mushroom for this. Uh, try and pick a bigger one so that you could use this to stuff inside. So we're not going to waste this stock. Um, and you will soon see what we're going to do. Ah, you've done a good job, Sai. Okay, so we've prepped the mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Now the stalks, don't waste the stalks. Uh, just chop them into small pieces. Well, I'm past cutting the mushrooms, I'm going to start cooking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on. So what are you going to do? And put these um, onions and tomatoes inside. And saute them. Yeah. Okay. But first, next time I think. So, we're going to saute the onions and tomatoes. But first, we have to add some extra virgin olive oil into our pan. Just a couple of teaspoonfuls. Yep. That should be fine. And then we should add these. Together. Right. Shall we add the onions first? Okay. Look at the sound, the sizzling sound in the open air. <laughs> Maybe we could put the uh, the garlic cloves in it as well. Yep. Hiya. So we need to cook it till it becomes translucent. And if you added a little bit of salt, mm -hmm. We could put the salt like this. I know, I know what you're thinking about. So a little bit of salt will make the process of sauteing quicker. Okay, do you want to saute it, Sai? Very quick dish. Now, 
by now I think you would have sussed out that's the filling which will go into the mushrooms but if you're cooking at home you could just be creative and imaginative and you could fit anything or fill anything into the mushrooms potatoes sweet potatoes anything that you like so that's nicely sauteed so now we could put the tomatoes in and let's saute it for another few minutes got all these spices in little jars and we accidentally spilled the turmeric and the and the pepper uh, so that will be missing in our dish so if you're cooking at home uh, just add a little bit of turmeric and uh, ground pepper now all we've got here is some cumin powder a pinch of garam masala a pinch or two of garam masala and uh, a little bit of paprika that's all you need and uh, just saute it well so it's nicely sauteed at this stage the the stock of the mushroom or the base of the mushroom which is cut into small pieces will add that to the mix now make sure when you cook mushroom always keep it in medium or high heat um, otherwise what will happen is if you keep it in low flame um, mushrooms have got lots of water content and um, all the water will seep out and make it soggy so we don't want it to be soggy so let it fry for a few minutes Now at this stage, what we need to do is just taste it. Be careful, it's hot. It's piping hot. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you're surprised how you could get all the spice mix right, even without our turmeric and even without our pepper. Mm -hmm. Isn't it, Sai? So, oh, shall we get some cheese now? Well, it's it's your your snack. You could do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Actually, a little bit of cheese will try to bind the uh, the filling. Apple. We don't. We don't. No, that's fine. That's fine. We don't. We don't need much. So it's done. So let's switch it off. Mm -hmm. Now then, we are almost there. So we've got the filling ready. Mm -hmm. What we need to do now is we need to stuff these mushrooms with this filling. Mm -hmm. So let's do that. So stuff it nicely. Look at that. So we're going to shower the mushrooms with um, some cheese. Shower the mushroom with cheese? Yeah. Oh, God. My dad doesn't like cheese, so I'm going to not drizzle a few for him. Well, I love the cheese, but as I said before, uh, beyond a particular age, it's best that you avoid cheese. So just leave a couple of them for me, Sai, without any cheese. So we've got some olive oil on the pan. Kids, why are the grown-ups not watching this? <laughs> hey, you naughty boy. So, there you go. The stuffing goes straight into the pan. A high heat. Just carefully lamb them. And these are my mushrooms. Without the cheese. And this is size mushroom. Right, so 
what we need to do now is we need to just cover it and cook it for five to six minutes. Sai, maybe you can go and snooze in the car. Sai is having a nice snooze. Hello, Sai. What? <laughs> the mushrooms are ready. Oh yeah, I totally forgot. Is snooze time over then? It is. Okay, fine. And remember, we need to go for a long walk after this. Oh! I'll take another nap later then. Yeah? Okay. Ta da! Ta da! Ah, oh, look at the smell. Right, I think the mushrooms are ready. Let's switch this off. And I think it's ready to plate. So the moment of truth. <laughs> Come on, let let's dive in. Let's dive in. It smells so delicious. Mm. Smells really, really delicious. Ah. My dad just tried one, and he said the cheese is better than the one without the cheese. I should confess, the cheesy bite is delicious. <laughs> How's it, Sai? Mm. 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 It's just incredible. It's absolutely amazingly incredible. Now, taste is something and having such a snack amidst nature you can hear the birds chirping the nice fresh air the sunlight what more do you want don't eat the sunlight oh it is thanks for watching and please please press that subscribe button it's completely free it's zero pence, zero pounds. And also, please press the comment section and type if you enjoyed cooking with me and my dad. And also, press the like button. Thanks and for please tune in next Sunday for another episode of Dance and Sunday Cooking. Bye. Bye. Now, and we need a knife. Okay. Take it quickly. Okay. Just so. Stop. I think the horse is feeling peckish as well. Um, I'm not sure whether you can eat mushrooms or see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna fight for this now. Mm -hmm. It's so delicious.